so look we got some puffy clouds some regular puffy clouds without the chemtrails so of course here's this asshole right here he's <laughs> he's gonna put a chemtrail in the sky and uh, fix all that can't have these regular puffy clouds can you no so this guy he's gonna leave us a trail to fix it oh, and don't you love these ones that have this little like dead spot Yeah, where he came from leaves the trail. It st stays in the sky, goes away there, continues back up. Yeah, that's totally natural. Sure, people who deny chemtrails call that a wet spot. Or no, that's a dry spot. He flew through a dry spot. See, it was wet, 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 dry. Wet, 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 wet. That's how that works. All right, it's only been about two minutes since that last video clip and then the plane flew off and then he discontinued his chemtrail it's almost like he dropped this payload or his tank ran out because the chemtrail was going nice and thick right it was going nice and thick and then he had this <laughs> this spot where it like shut off for a second and then restarted and then it ended again and then he flew off so if if you know that we're being sprayed then of course you say yeah he sprang and then it just started to shut off right there and then a little more spurted out and then he shut the whole thing off or his tank ran out or something whereas if you deny chemtrails you have to say the plane's just flying and it's wet and that's condensation and then he threw he flew through a dry patch but then it got wet again it got wet and then it got dry and then the rest of it's fucking dry that's f so if you deny chemtrails you got to go with this wet spot dry spot thing and as you can see the the rest of the sky there's no trails today and we got these cool like real looking clouds i just call them puffy clouds <laughs> so uh there's the trail i love these ones that stop and start it's so obvious that they're spraying shit and that it like spurts and then runs out or that they flip a switch and turn it off. But other people are like, no, 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 no. That's a dry spot. And then the rest of the sky from, from this point on is dry. But right here it's wet. <laughs> All right, same trail. See how it's spreading out already? Look how quickly these things spread out. There's the gap. Right? Look at that. It's only been about five minutes since he left that trail. And it's already spread out that much. Alright, now you got this asshole leaving an actual contrail. It's like, uh, so why... Why doesn't this guy's trail linger in the sky for hours and hours? How come it's there's nothing behind him? Oh, let me guess. He's in a dry patch, right? But then the dude over on the other side of the sky who left that trail, he was in a wet patch. But then this dude over here, he he's just leaving a regular contrail. Same day, same sky. This guy leaves the contrail. And then there's the chemtrail still in the sky, spreading out even wider. Okay, now we're going on maybe 10 minutes. I've only been on the same dog walk and looking at the same chemtrail for about 10 minutes. And you can see already how much it's spread out. And see, when people see chemtrails that have spread out, the ones who, who deny chemtrails are the ones who don't believe in chemtrails. So that's not a chemtrail, that's, that just looks like a cloud. Yeah, you know, that puffy one and then that one above it, yeah, those are just clouds. It's like, no, it came out of an airplane. It's a line and now it's spread out. And now you think it's a cloud because you didn't see it come out of an airplane. But it came out of a fucking airplane, okay? And then it spread out. That's a problem. People see the things like once they're spread out like that, 
And they say, yeah, that, that's just a cloud. And you say, no, but that came out of an airplane. They go, no, -uh. <laughs> no, it didn't. It's just a cloud. No, it came out of an airplane. <laughs> it's a fake cloud. Hmm. Well, that's a funny looking tree, huh? Hmm. Look at that. Hmm. That's a funny looking tree take a closer look at this funny tree here. Hmm. Oh, look at that. It's one of them funny trees that has a power source down at the bottom. What does it say? It says, uh, notice beyond this point you are entering a radio frequency RF emissions controlled area. RF emissions may exceed FCC uncontrolled general population exposure limits. Oh shit, so me standing next to this thing is probably not healthy. Yeah, this thing disguised as a tree, yeah, hmm, with this big power source thing attached to it, yeah, I guess I'm not supposed to be standing here. Hey look, some actual trees next to this fucking Frankenstein tree. I should probably get the hell out of here, man. Ah! Okay. Nah, it's like a dog. Look at this tree. It just looks like any tree, right? Except that Scott would appear to be eyeballs. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. What the hell? And there's even one up there. But that one right there, holy crap, look at that. Now, I know people think, that's fake, that's not real, but that, the tree, they grew like this. I didn't spray paint that on there. Or I didn't like do this to like be symbolic. I was walking down the street with Rusty and I thought, hey, somebody painted eyeballs on that tree. And then as I got closer, it's actually growing like that. Nobody painted that on there. That's how the tree grows. So this tree has eyeballs on it. See, look, from here, you think somebody a long time ago must have spray painted or, or painted on some eyeballs on this tree. And then you get closer. Like, that's how the tree grows. weird it's a weird ass tree have you guys ever seen a tree like this before oh look it's got like another kind of eyeball like right there <laughs> I would say that this is an Illuminati tree if I was gonna name it an Illuminati tree yep it's an Illuminati tree As you can see, I live in the hood where people actually do spray paint trees. This tree is actually freaking spray painted, as you can see. But that other tree with the eyeballs around the corner over there, like, that tree had eyeballs naturally growing on it. <laughs> At least they look like eyeballs. This is a painted tree, so. Now you can see why I thought maybe somebody painted eyeballs on the other tree. Because in my hood, people fucking tag the trees. Like, who are these gangsters who tag trees? Like, yeah, I claim this tree in the name of whatever these symbols are. You better not be hanging around next to my tree. Otherwise, I'll bust a cap in your ass, bitch. Yeah, I'd say since about mid-November they've been chemtrailing the, the afternoon sky on into the sunset. They've just been loading us up with chemtrails all day, but I notice they really ramp it up late in the afternoon and at sunset they're always throwing trails in front of the uh, where the sun's going to set. So you can see all the trails they're making more recently 
and then here are the trails that have started hazing out so they're definitely trying to either cover something up or limit our sunlight maybe both it makes me wonder if like this time of year if there's possibly a second sun that might be visible this is speculation let's say maybe there's a second sun visible at a certain time of year but they're chemtrailing it out or maybe they're just trying to eliminate uh, sunlight from us uh, man it's really hard to tell uh, you know they don't make it obvious they make it obvious they're spring but they don't make it obvious why exactly they're doing it um, so we're just left to speculate um, but I'm getting a, a lot of reports from different people and from videos I've seen that they always chemtrail uh, mostly at, in the afternoon late afternoon and it looks like this covering up the sunset every day. Does this happen where you live? It's been happening where I live every day. What the hell am I doing here? I don't belong here. I don't belong here.